Hey everyone, this is the video where I answer the question, what am I watching for the summer 2019 anime season? In other words, what new shows am I going to be picking up? Now, I only have a few things to say before I actually get into the, the real meat of it. Now, I'm going to be do, having some few differences with this one than previous videos of this nature. I am not going to be doing any of the different colors that are different statuses thing that I used to do. You know, things like green means I'll do this with it, yellow means I'll do this with it. I'm not doing that this time. I'm just going to show you a few shows that I am planning on picking up. And then I will leave it to you guys to let me know what else you want me to watch. Because I will run a, a couple polls to figure that out. Uh, I used to do, what I, what I used to do was one poll for the public and one as a Patreon poll. And the public poll, I would choose the two top winners and react to them both. But I decided to actually split that public poll into two different polls. Where one is for one type of anime and the other one is for the other type of anime. One is for the slice of life, comedy, cute girls doing cute things type of shows. And the other, pub and the other public poll will be for the more serious action heavy plot driven type shows because I never really like when those type of shows compete with each other because they're such different type of fans you know so I figure it made more sense than, than what I did before which is one big poll where I selected two winners if I'm gonna do two winners anyway I might as well have it split into two polls and then the Patreon the the, the, the poll for Patreon supporters will be an, an addition to that and those polls will be run after the new season begins which, which will give shows a chance to actually air. So people have a little bit more to go on with their choices besides, hey, this looks like it could be interesting. You know, first episodes is a little bit more than that. <clears throat> so that's kind of when I want to do that. So, uh, also, I'm not going to be... There's not a lot of anime that I'm going to mention in this video because I already have a lot of anime that I'm currently reacting to, so I don't really want to put on a, a bunch of new ones. Uh, for a couple reasons. One, to avoid potential burnout. And two, I would like a little bit of wiggle room. So I have a more opportunity to like uh, experiment with other types of content. Because I have an interest in doing that. But it's one of those things where, well, I already did a full day of recording. I'm not really up for doing anything more. But if I have a little bit of extra space in what was my usual allotted time for reactions, maybe I can fill it up with something more spontaneous. So that's another reason. But the end result is that there's not a, there's not a whole lot of anime that I'm going to be bringing up in this, in this video. Also, one more important thing to mention, because this is, hasn't already gone on long enough, this intro is I'm going to try to go as blind as I can into this season because synopsises sometimes are more spoilery than I'm comfortable with. Now, some t I mean, it's on a spectrum, right? Some are not at all, but some are really bad. So I figured I just want to avoid all of that entirely, not read any synopsises, not watch any PVs, and, which does make it harder to decide what to watch, but that's why... I'm going to be looking forward to people's comments about what what you're looking forward to, you know, so I can get a feel for what's hyped up, what's not, all that kind of good stuff. So keep that in mind that I have not read the synopsis or anything for any of the things I'm about to mention. I only chose them based on I like the title or I like the cover art or I like the studio that makes it or I heard vague good things about it from someone, you know, that sort of thing is uh, all I really have to go on here. So with that out of the way, I have no idea how much time I spent on that, but I'm, I'm guarantee you as long as I wanted. Let's just get into it. Boom. Okay, up first. Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san 2. So, there's not a lot to say with this. I watched and reacted to the first season of this anime on the channel. I liked it a lot, especially Takagi. You know, she has the same voice actress as Megumin, which helped a lot, and just, just amazing voice in general. So, I enjoyed it a lot. And it's kind of a no-brainer to react to the second season, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, now up next we have Dungeon Ni Daio Motemeru no wa Machigate Edo Daroka 2. Same kind of situation, however, I watched this one, I did not react to this one because that was before this channel was a thing. And I liked, I liked the first season well enough, and uh, I don't see why any reason why I wouldn't like the second one, so similar to the previous entry in that regard. So I may or may not quickly rewatch it on my own. Rewatch the first season on my own time to refresh myself. We'll see. We will see. But uh, yeah, that's all I really had to say on that one. Okay, this this one. Senki Zesho Symphogear Gear XV, like the fifth season of Symphogear, Gear, I think. Now I have a lot to say on this one because it's kind of a this isn't this isn't kind of an awkward position. Now the thing is, 
uh, this uh, there's a company involved with this anime called King Records, and if uh, some of you might be familiar with my opinion on that company, but I've but basically I've gotten a lot of copyright trouble with them, and I know they've done previous seasons of this show. I'm sure they'll be involved with this one, so that makes this show a very high risk one to react to. Even though I do show basically no real footage in my reactions anymore, I don't trust that. I don't trust that to be good enough for King Records. I really don't. And my policy on that company is to not react to anything they're involved with. But this is going to have to be a this is going to have to be a little bit of an exception because I for a few reasons. I love this anime for one. I love Sen Senki Zesho Simple Gear. I love it. It's a very rule of cool anime. I love Tachibana Hibiki. You know, Yuki Aoi does a great job with her role. I love her relationship with Miku. I just I love the entire show. Everything about it's so cool. So I, I, I want to react to it because of that reason. But also, I reacted to the previous season. None of the ones before that, but the previous season. Although that was in the very, very beginning of my channel, so my reaction to the previous season sucks because of that. But still, uh, there's <clears throat> because of that, there is precedent, though, for me reacting to it. So, that's, so, that's, so that is another reason why I want to do it, because I did react to some of it already. However, because it is a high-risk show, I'm going to have to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to make it very public. I'm going to react to it, but it will be unlisted, and you'll have to go to the Sinful Gear playlist on my channel to find it. Like, it's not going to pop up in your subscription box or anything. So that's going to be how I have how I do it. That, that will result in it getting a lot less views than normal, which is going to sting because this is a show that does get a lot of views. I remember when I reacted to the previous season, even though, like I said, I sucked, the videos were terrible, but I still got a lot of views on them and a lot of dislikes because it's just that cool and hype and reaction worthy of a show. But I just don't feel comfortable reacting to it in a normal manner, so I will sacrifice those views just to, to, for safety in this case because, you know, I think it's fine. But anyway, that's... Yeah, that's that's the only one I'm gonna have to have going to have that much to say on. The rest of them will just kind of breeze through. So, and uh, that's also it for the sequels. Okay, up next, Kawaii Kereba Hentai Demo Skini Natte Kuremaska. Now, this is an example of one where the title definitely got my attention. Uh, I assume the synopsis is pretty interesting as well. I did not read the synopsis, however, I did read the title of a topic. Uh, like a thread on the My Anime List page for it, where somebody said, what is with that synopsis, question mark? So I'm guessing it's quite an interesting synopsis, but the title is what got my attention. And uh, the translation that My Anime List gives on there is, will you please like hentai if it's cute? I don't think that's a completely accurate translation, because that sounds like they're using hentai as in, like, the way Western people would use hentai, you know, to describe 18 plus anime or manga or whatever, but Japan doesn't use the word hentai that way, so I don't think that's what it is. Uh, personally, I could be wrong. My Japanese is terrible, and I can't really come up with a good translation of this of what I think it means. That sounds like natural English, but I think it's something like... Uh, it's, it's, it's also out of context, right? Because it's a title. It makes it even harder to really understand, but I think it's someone basically asking if they someone else will like them, uh, even if they're a pervert, as long as they're cute. I think that's what it, it is. Because yeah, that's how you use, you know, Kuremaska. Because that's kind of like asking for a favor. So, I just, I can't think of a good way to translate that in English. But I think that's more or less what it means. I'm not sure, though, because I have not read the synopsis, like I said. I want to be as blind as I can going into the show. Especially if it has, uh, especially if it sounds as interesting as that title makes it. So, yeah, not a lot more to say on it. Beyond that, the title is pretty much the reason why I wanted to watch it. Also, you know, one of my friends seems to be pretty excited to watch it. So, that's kind of the reason for that. And uh, we're almost done. You only a couple more left. Up next is Dumbbell Non Kilo Moteru, which I think that roughly translates to Do You Even Lift, Bro? I think that's uh, about it. Now, this one, the biggest reason for me to want to watch this one is because it's made by the amazing studio uh, Doug. Wow, how, why am I blanking on one of my favorite studios' names? That's, I should be ashamed of myself. Uh, okay, just give me a second. Yeah, Doga Kobo. I, I, as, yeah, don't get cool, but anyway, the point is, uh, even if I can't remember their name, I still love that studio. They have made so many anime that I have liked a lot that I just, when I see that they're behind a show that looks, that under normal circumstances would look like a show that I might have been interested in, then I definitely will, will go for it. There's no doubt about that. And it's also an interesting concept, you know, girls lifting weights, not exactly something super, super common. I mean, I'm not particularly into fit girls or anything like that, you know, about as much as the average person. But if you are into that thing, if that, if that is your thing, then this is definitely one you'd want to pick up, you know. If you liked, uh, 
but yeah, anyway, that's that's that, you know. Uh, hopefully it's good. I have high hopes because of reasons I stated. Now the last one up is Uchinoko no Tame Nareba Ore wa Moshikashitara Maomo Taoseru Kamoshiranai. A bit of a mouthful on that one, title-wise. That might be up there as far as long, the longest anime titles uh, just ever. So, again, a very attention-grabbing title. Now this translates into something something like, uh, if it's for my daughter's sake, maybe I could even defeat a demon lord, something like that. I probably should look if they offer, see if they offered an actual translation on the my anime list page. They probably did. I think that's probably better than what I can come up with. Yeah, if it's for my daughter, I'd even defeat a demon lord. So yeah, more or less what I said. But another very attention-grabbing title. Since I did not read the synopsis, I don't know how literally to take that. You know, is this going to be in a fantasy setting, an isekai anime, where he really does have to battle a demon lord to protect this child? Who knows? But it's, the title definitely got my attention once again. So hopefully this is pretty good as well. I don't really have much to say on it beyond that, but the cover art shows a decent amount of characters at, like, what could be a store, a restaurant, or something. It's really kind of hard to tell, but, uh, you know, it, it grabbed my attention. That's kind of the point. And uh, I think that's pretty much everything I really got to say. So, yeah, that's the stuff that I am currently planning on watching. Not a very long list for reasons I already stated. And, like I said, I'm going to be doing a couple polls so people can... To decide a couple extra shows that want me want me to watch, and you can just kind of be on the lookout for that. I will post uh, those polls when I make them, which will be after the next anime season begins. And uh, of course, even after a, if it turns out one of these shows is not as good as I thought it would be, which is unlikely because half of these are like sequels, you know. But uh, if one of these shows really does turn out to be a disappointment, I could just drop in and then look through things that people have said in the comments that they're looking forward to and then substitute it for that, even if it's something that may not have won the poll. If something goes out for whatever reason, then I could put something new there. So definitely let me know what you are looking forward to in the comment section below. It's very important because of that reason. So I have things to put on the poll. So I have things to replace with other shows if I do drop something. So very important to do that. Now, that I think that's pretty much everything I got to say. Uh without repeating myself, which I try my best not to do, I, even if I fail often. So I'm just going to call it there. And uh, hopefully next season turns out to be pretty good. So that's the hope, right? <laughs>